Welcome to another Leadership Impact podcast. And today I have the amazing Aaron Bukai with us, and he is going to be talking about, and I'm gonna hand over to Aaron. Now, Aaron is an expert, by the way, and he's been doing this stuff for years. And just before I break into Aaron, I wanna just tell you something a little bit about him that he probably didn't know I was gonna say this, but I've heard from people that he's taught how good he is. And I love the way he teaches as well, because unlike someone you give a job to, they just go off and they just do it. What Aaron does is he actually walks people through. So they understand the processes and it saves them money because they don't have to go back to him. They go back to him if they need something a little bit extra, of course, but he actually shows them. So for me, it's perfect because it's all about teaching people how to do things. Plus he's doing it himself in front of you. Now you guys know that if someone's actually showing you and they're doing it and they're teaching it at the same time, they know their stuff because you wouldn't do that otherwise. There's a lot of website designers hide away in the background, fiddle their way through, get the results, but you don't know all the stuff that they've done. He does it in front of you. And that's what I love about Aaron. And he's got an amazing subject to talk about today. Hi, Aaron, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for the lovely intro. Appreciate that. What are we talking about? We're gonna talk about thank you pages. And also more importantly, why this is a missing opportunity for most people to actually grow your email list and turn your new email subscribers into ambassadors, which people very rarely know how to do. And I'm gonna show you some little hacks on how to do that. So you can actually increase your, your email list without doing any extra work with one tiny little automation. Yeah, this is an amazing subject because a lot of people just, they, they have, they have lovely funnel systems. A lot of people like have funnel systems and then they just have, they have the opt in, they have the thank you page and then they have the funnel. At the end of it, they have nowhere to go. They have nowhere yeah. to go. So they don't, so in anything like a, a form that's going to a thank you page is an opportunity and at every Perfect. step, there is an opportunity. And that's what I that's love right. about this uh, podcast today, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, should I take it away and just uh, go through the different uh, parts? Take it away. I might in interject now and again, okay. if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Translate in case I uh, go off track or something, you know. Um, but we'll, we'll try to keep it really short. I, I want to, first of all, I want to just define for people what is a thank you page like really simple. So a thank you page essentially is the second page that somebody sees upon visiting your website after they've taken certain action on your website. Maybe they've taken an action, which is to download your free PDF, download your ebook, maybe book a call with you. But typically it will be some sort of a subscription. They've taken an action and they want to learn more basically, or get connected with you or get some freebie. Then there is the next page. Now the worst thank you pages or thank you that you do is when you just have a little thing at the bottom, when you enter the name and email and somebody, and you have a little pop-up message saying, thanks for your submission is received. That is like the worst. Okay. And that's a lot of websites have that you would be blown away. Now I'll, I'll give you a little hack now as well. In case you are listening to this and you are actually a website designer, website builder, or strategist or marketer or coach, if you're actually going to check a potential client's website and you see that error, you can actually tell them, hey, listen, there's a missed opportunity here and you can add value to them to get into a conversation. It's an amazing conversation starter as a potential sales conversation by actually getting to fix something in the website, which is causing them losing leads and sales. Okay, so that's one thing I'll tell you. So if you do notice that, it's really important to note. So if that's a problem, what should you do instead? So... What you want to do is you want to have a page that it gets them redirected to. And I'll share my screen and show you how to do all that in a second. But you want to have a page where they get taken to after they enter their name and email. On that page, and some people may not like what I'm about to say, you want to have a video, ideally. Now, I know some people are camera shy. They might be uh, tongue-tied, things along these lines. Totally get it. It's just a really good way to build relationships because you have the goal of the lead magnet and the whole point of having a landing page or a thank you page or a website or any of that stuff is to help get somebody from being a stranger to becoming a customer and anything you could do to shorten the time between that you want to figure out what those things are 
And I'm, that's what I'm going to show you is how to shorten that path. One of those ways to shorten the path from somebody being somebody who doesn't know you to being a customer is by doing a video because that is how you build trust right away. Because instead of them seeing a little text box that says, thanks for your submission, you're actually doing something that potentially adds value to them, right? Now, let's talk about, I don't know what to say in my video, okay? Let's talk about that for a second because some people are going to have that. I'm going to make it really easy for you. I'm going to pretend that I am now talking to David in a coffee shop and we are friends, okay? Hey, David, we're meeting up for a coffee. And face-to-face, -face, I've told David, hey, by the way, I've actually got this PDF that I've written about how to, um, let's say, create a, create a thank you page. Let's, let's keep it simple. How to create a thank you page, okay? Let's just say something really simple, okay? Um, or, you know what, I'll do, I'll do better. We were talking about digital nomads and hotels and stuff just before, before this. So let's just say a checklist on how to find accommodations as a digital nomad. Just a checklist, free checklist to just give you some tips, right? That's the checklist. And we're in a coffee shop. Now, David then says, yeah, I'm interested in having that. And then before he actually looks at the PDF or looks at the checklist, I'm going to tell him something like this. By the way, David, after you have a look at the checklist, I would love to connect with you on a more personal level just to find out your feedback about this checklist because I want to figure out how to, all number one, improve it and also how to make sure that these resources are, are truly helpful for you because I know you're not going to be the only one who struggles with accommodations. So if you don't mind, once you have a look at the checklist, there's going to be a little button for you to actually just book a call with me. And we'll schedule another time to just have a chat just so we can have, I can have feedback on that. Is that, is that cool with you? That's yeah, a, that's a, it is. That, yeah, it is cool. Yeah, done, you know? Now, you can go back to this recording and take the last 20 seconds, 30 seconds that I've done and literally transcribe that and use that as your script and tailor it to your thing, your niche, your, your health coach, you know, your, uh, whatever it is you do, you can literally tailor that. Because the beginning... You really want to focus on building relationship with people, right? And it might appear like, oh, I don't want to do Zoom calls so much, or it might be, I'm not a people person or any of those things. But the reality is you will learn about your target audience and your, your market so much faster by actually doing it this way, okay? Now, that kind of brings me to three types of thank you pages or thank you videos you want to do. There's three types, okay? Number one is just a thank you one where you're literally telling them, thanks so much for downloading the PDF. Really appreciate it. It's been sent to your inbox. Could you please do me a favor and check out your your spam trash? Sometimes Google can do, be a bit uh, funky like that. And just make sure that you actually received it. And do me a tiny little favor. Reply to that email to let me know you received it. Now, that gets engagement going. That gets deliverability for your emails better and stuff like that. That's a really simple thank you page. The other thank you page, uh, thank you video you could do is a transition to a, a sale, i.e., you're going to tell them, thanks so much for downloading this checklist. By the way, before you go, it will be there in a few minutes. While you're here, I have your attention for two minutes. I just want to tell you about X, Y, Z. And then you transition over to selling them a small digital product or a coaching session or something like that. It's the second type. Another type, the third one is, and this, this also applies to an affiliate offer. If you're doing affiliate marketing, that's also a good type of a page you do. Say, thank you so much. It's been sent to your inbox. By the way, I want to tell you about this amazing product that I'm using. Let's say I want to tell you about the page you're seeing right now. I've set up this whole automation and the email you receive using an amazing software using is called Zendler. And I want to tell you a little bit about it. Tell them about it. Put your affiliate link below as a button. That's the final transition. Okay. And I'm going to give you the third and probably the most valuable one for people who are just getting started. And that is the book a call. Thank you. Because that is where you're going to probably the beginning when you haven't spoken to customers yet. You don't have customers yet. Or you're just beginning. You want to talk to as many people as possible. So you would do what I told David earlier and just say, you know, I'd love to get to know you on a more personal level. If you don't mind booking a call, I really appreciate it. And, you know, get into a conversation with somebody and you put a little Calendly link below and have that conversation, basically. So that'll be what you would do on the thank you page. And that's how you build the trust. And that will help shorten that path uh, between strangers to your customers because you build that trust a lot faster. So that's tip number one I want to talk to you about today on the thank you page. Cool. Got a good tip. That's brilliant. And also, I love it. Um, you you touched on a point there, and I, I cover this a lot, is 
the videos, making mm. that connection, being on there. People see you, people connect with you because people buy into people. So yeah. like Aaron was saying, if you can get them on a live call, it's perfect. They'll be warmed up so quickly rather than just have, and like Aaron was saying, get on there. People just have a little bit come up, just a little notification. Thank you. Your form is submitted. And then they're like, oh, and they might not have even seen it. Yeah. This is a problem. You want it nice and bold. You're in. That's right. Thank you. You know, you want to tell them, get them That's excited. Right. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. So really important. It just makes your website stand out. You know, it makes you stand out, you know. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you a little uh, little um, free something at the end on how you can make your website stand out even better on the thank you page. Now, let's talk about the lead generation side, because I think that's super important, is how to turn that thank you page into lead generation. I'm telling you, I reckon 95% of people listening to this right now have no idea you could do, actually do this or how to do it. So you would have seen that when somebody registers, when you have registered to probably other people's webinars, for example, you know, the Amy Porterfields of the world or any of these big marketers and so on, sometimes you see on the thank you page, you know, there's the there's the information about, okay, the event is going to be hosted here or go to your inbox to download or whatever. But it's also these three buttons or two buttons that says, click here to share this with your business besties or share this uh, freebie with your business besties. And there's a button to Facebook and email and messenger or something like that. Now, when you click it, it will automatically share it to your social media or automatically open up Gmail and all that stuff. How the hell do you set that up? Because you've just had a subscriber. Somebody just arrived to your world. They probably know somebody else who might be interested because people tend to network and they're in the same Facebook group. They've been in the same coaching program together. So I've done a, a virtual summit last year and I noticed at the time because I was running it in a way where I actually could see the numbers as well, it was, I was actually seeing people were sharing it. And then I would also have comments with people saying they shared it. And then I've also had people when I asked them, hey, how did you find out about this? They say, oh, I saw it on Blah Blah's Facebook page. And then I'll go to their Facebook profile and I'll see they've actually shared it. So people really do share it. Not everybody's going to share it. But I want you to think about it for a second. You work so bloody hard to get people to your opt-in page so hard. I mean, it is so hard, you know, like building the landing page is already challenging as it is, but getting people there and then for somebody to actually be there and actually type in their name and email, you've already done all that hard work. It literally takes you five minutes to set up what I'm about to, to show you, what I'm telling you right now, to actually have that three buttons where people will then share it. Now, let's just say over the next one year, two years, you're going to keep on sending people to that landing page. How many more free leads do you think you will get out of that? And this is why it's so, so important to actually do this little hack. And I know most people don't have that set up. So I'll share my screen and show you how to do that. Uh, really, really dead simple. Yeah, so guys, if you're listening to the audio on this, there is a link in there to the YouTube video so you can watch Aaron's presentation. He's going to talk you through it, um, but you can watch it if you follow the link in the description. Perfect, perfect. So we are in a marketing funnels in New Zealand. Now, this is the URL for the opt-in page, this one, the landing page when they enter the name and email, and this one is the thank you page. We're going to click on the opt-in page link. Once you have this information typed in and all that, obviously it's all accurate. You're gonna copy this. You're gonna go to a website called Share Link Generator. Now. Bear with me on this point. Maybe this website won't even be live. I don't know. So if you can't find it because it's on my website, go type in shareable buttons link generator on Google and just click them and find one that works because one of them is going to work. There's a bunch of them. This is just happens to be one that I'm seeing right now. Okay, this is not necessarily endorsement of this website. It just works. Then you would go here to the Facebook section and you would actually paste it in. Click on create link. And now you see this URL only button. You're going to copy this. You're going to go back to Zendler. And on the thank you page, you're now going to create a button that links the Facebook button. That's all you're going to do. And you'll need to do that for each individual item, whether it's you want it to be shared on Facebook or shared on other things. So in this case, let's just do, um, let's just click on this one, click here, 
click on buttons button, submit, put on the editor, go to settings, choose action, go to link, paste the link, and make sure it says open in a new tab. This is really important. You do open in a new tab because you don't want it to disappear and replace the page you're on because you want them to share it, not just on Facebook, you want to share on other things as well. And yeah, of that's course, a common say, problem. That's a common com thing people do. They never do open new tab and you lose them from the page. They don't know how to get back. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. So share on Facebook, right? You would do something like that. And then you can also do on, if you want to get really like fancy, you can actually do the uh, Facebook icon like so. And you can click here and type the word link and do a little thing that kind of pops up so they know, okay, it's going to open in a new tab type thing. You could get kind of kind of clever like that, right? Then all you got to do is duplicate it and then grab that opt-in page again, go back to the share link generator. This time, you're going to do it to LinkedIn or email or Pinterest or Telegram or Twitter and basically do the same thing. Now, notice on Twitter, here, you actually have the option of actually typing something that they could do. So you could say, uh, just downloaded this awesome checklist, something like that, and click on create link. And now this text is going to be included in the tweet at the same time. So when they tweet it, the text is actually included at the same time, which is just so powerful as well, because it's not just the link, right? Again, you would go here, you would duplicate it, paste it here, click on settings, replace the link. This is going to say share on Twitter. Oops, or X. <laughs> they've got a new name now, right? <laughs> So they've oh, got yeah. a whole new name, but anyway, we'll we'll stick with Twitter. You know, despite what Twitter. Elon Musk wants, we'll, we'll stick with Twitter. That's <laughs> right, that's right. And then um, what I would also say for you is also try to customize the colors, so the colors are actually similar to, uh, or they're different. So it's a little bit, you know, they actually get separated basically. And that's what you would do. Really dead simple. And now you have literally taken your thank you page and turn it into a lead generation automated process as well. Okay. So that's what I want to share with you. And uh, yeah, cool little hack. And uh, hopefully if you can implement that from now on, it will add an extra five to 10 minutes on every single thank you page you're going to create from here on out. And it's going to actually help you generate more leads. So easy little, little uh, add on for uh, growing more of your email list. Yeah, that's very cool. Uh, yeah. So, Brilliant there. So I, I know guys, you're listening to audio. So basically to sum it up, what Aaron did there was he had the opt-in page is normally the form page. He took the URL from that. He then shared, used the shareable link so that he could put the information in. And then he copied that into a button on the thank you page, creating that lead generation, creating that shareable link that people will post and get more people in. Plus, if you back that up with what Aaron said earlier about the video or any freebies you're going to put in there, you can also follow up on that way as well. So you can book a call, totally. but you can put the shareable ones in there as well. So he's given you loads of options there to really push that thank you page. And it takes it, like Aaron was saying, not many people do it. You'd be surprised. You think, oh, well, that sound, that wire, it's not everybody doing it. You know, and this is why. Aaron's an expert at doing this stuff and he's had yeah. lots of people come through. He's done, he's got his own businesses. He's done this stuff time and time again and he knows what works because he's seen it and you've seen that traffic come through as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very totally, nice. Totally. And that another reason people don't do it, by the way, number one, they don't know. Number two, there's actually software tools that sell you this particular service. And I know one software tool, they sell it for $89 a month. I've just shown you how to do it for free. I know uh, there's a lot of things like that. So, this is another <laughs> this is, reason. This is where the this is where your expertise come in, yeah. and you look at something. I just showed you how to do it for free. Why? Why are you doing? <laughs> but people buy this stuff and ads, and you know, like this, we, we, you know, Aaron does. He uses Zendler, but he's used lots of other platforms as well. And the thing about Zendler is 
that we make it really easy in the platform to do things like this. And that's why lots, if not just people that haven't been on course platforms before, but also experienced course creators and coaches will come on to Zenla because of the power of it, because of the way that you can put code in. That's why I use Zenla, because of all the power features, not really for all the basic features. I can get those with most other platforms, but it's mm. those powerful features that you can put in there, such as JavaScript, HTML, and all these things, which brings me on nicely, I think, after okay. Aaron's amazing presentation. Aaron's going to share, well, one, his website link, and it's all going to be in the description, guys. But also, have you got any special things that you're doing at the I, moment that you want to share with our audience, our Zenla and other platform audience? Yeah, yeah, totally. So I'm ex I'm really excited. So I've been wanting to be like a software CEO slash founder for, for years, at least three years. I remember writing Software Secrets, um, the book, at least three years ago. Uh, you know, there's a post on my Instagram, March 2022, 2020, sorry, of me reading Software Secrets. That's how long I've been wanting to kind of do this. And I finally launched a software and it's called confettipage.com. And the beauty of it is it works amazing with Zendler. It works with any other platform, but you basically do a few clicks and you can actually create a confetti animation, different styles. You can customize the colors to your own brand also. And you can generate the button and put it in your Zendler thank you page as well, which is another great way to make your thank you page stand out. Because now not only you don't just say thanks for your submission, you have a video, you have a little confetti, which brings the smile to their face right away because you don't see that often. And, you know, you've got all this new experience, which is just a really cool little thing. And the whole concept is to really bring a smile to people's faces and make their heart dance. That's kind of the theme of Confetti Page because that's what it does. You know, you see Confetti, like you see a little celebration. Oh, you're in, your checklist is on the way. It's like, oh, you know, we're celebrating, you know? You like those, and, those um, party poppers. You can pop them. The party it's... poppers. That's right. That's right. Exactly. So, what it reminds me of, you look at it and you go, wow, that's amazing. Like, how do you do it? Does it just work for Zen or does it work for other websites like places you can place HTML? Could you, could it work for those as well? Anywhere you, yeah, anywhere you can put HTML, it will work. So even on, for example, this is another way. It doesn't have to be on the thank you page. Even on your course area in Sandler, if you want to put, let's say, the final lesson of a specific module where it's like completion lesson, you can actually put the confetti there, right? And another cool way is you can actually create a button inside the final lesson where you say you're done, pop the confetti, and they click on the button, and then the confetti will kind of do a little explosion on your Zendler lesson page as well. I And you've got training on the page, on the link. You've got some training on how to insert it in there. Are you going to give us a demo now? Totally. And I guys, Absolutely. if you're listening, you've got to go across to YouTube and watch all this stuff that Aaron's doing. But yeah. uh, you're going to give us a demo of it? I will. I will. Fantastic. So um, we're going to go to this, our faithful opt-in page that we're tested. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on copy URL of this opt-in page. Now, this is important to do. Uh, we can do the thank you page, actually. What's important, it's more important that you get the this domain name because the code is only going to work on the one domain name. You can, you'll need to create different confetti animation codes for diff different domain names. So you, this is the one that's important. So around.newsandler.com in my case. So I'm going to copy the link. It doesn't matter if you pick up the small, the, just this part or the whole thing. So I'm just going to pick up the whole thing to make my life easier. You're going to go to confettipage.com. You're going to click on add confetti to your page. You're going to paste in the URL. You're going to click on choose confetti colors. And now there's the little confetti pops up. Now here's what's cool. It's actually going to pick the colors from your page automatically, right? Whatever is available there, basically. So this is like a little bit of the Zendler colors. So it's going to pick that. But you can also customize it the way you want it to be. So you can go here and change the colors. And you can add up to six colors. Or you can click on Surprise Me. Or you can have up to, you can have one color as well. So between one and six colors. So I'm going to keep it with six. And you can always preview what it looks like here. Now, don't worry about the style of it yet. We will customize that. So the next is choose the animation. Now you can do a few things. You can make it rain for 
a medium period of time, short period of time, long or forever. You can do fireworks and you can do a lot of fireworks. You could do just some fireworks or you could just just a few if you want to get a little bit smaller about it. You can also make the pop, you know, like that thing that you were saying, you know, that yeah. uh, pop. So you can pop it from each direction. So let's just pretend that you want to pop only from the middle. You would click here and you will notice the direction it comes out of is the middle or from the top right. And you can do up to three different directions. My favorite is spray. So you can do sprinkles. You can do shower. You can do spray. Or my favorite is a right fountain where it starts on the right or the left fountain where it starts on the left. So whichever one you prefer, it's all good. Then you can also choose the density, i.e. do you want to have like a lot of it? Whoa. Or do you want to just do like not so much, you know? And also you can choose the size of the confetti. Do you want the confetti to be big or do you want it to be a little bit tinier, basically? So it actually customizes the size of the particle as well, basically. So you can kind of play around with all of that. Now, um, don't worry about the affiliate link because um, that's a separate thing. But in my case, because I set up the affiliate thing, you will then, if you want, because I'm going to give you a, a, this is for free, by the way. You can actually use it for free. And there is going to be, when you use it for free, there's going to be a little branding that says confettipage.com. And you can make that your affiliate link. So if somebody clicks on that and ends up signing up for it and creating their own and maybe buying a license to remove the branding, that's the only difference, by the way then you will get a little commission as well. So I'm just going to, in my case, put yes, and you'll see my affiliate code here. Click on publish. Click on get the free confetti. I'm going to need to confirm those points. Reveal the code. Copy the code. And now I'm going to go to my faithful editor in New Zendler. And really simple. You're going to basically just add an HTML. So we're going to click on the plus button, custom HTML, custom HTML. It doesn't matter where you have it on the page, by the way. You just click here, click on change content. Yeah, guys. So if you're using, if you're using WordPress, you know, you can use the HTML in there. You can put it into the That's page. Right. Uh, no problem. That's right. Now that we've done that, let's preview what it looks like. Magic fountains of confetti. <laughs> really, you simple. know, it's like these little things that you put on there. They can really make a big difference. And it's yeah. like Aaron was saying, it just makes you like have a little smile. I like the pop in the middle. I like it like to just fully yeah. blown. You know, just like covering the page. Totally, totally. Now you're going to be like, oh, you know what? I'm not. Maybe I want to do it a little bit different. That's cool. You're just going to scroll down. You're going to click here, click on duplicate to a different domain, and it will take you through that process again. The colors will be exactly the same, and you can change the animation. So now you're like, okay, you know, I want the fireworks. I want the pop. And now you've got the pop thing, and you're going to go through that. Again, do the affiliate thing. Click on publish. Click on the code. Reveal the code. Grab it, go to your confetti page again. Now we're going to decide that we want to have a different, different one here. So we'll click on the code. So we're just swapping that code out now um, that we're was in there before. Just, just putting new code right. in, generated, that's right. updating and that then, page and saving. That's right. And then we're going to click on preview. And now we'll have the confetti the way that David likes it. Look at that. And that's free, isn't it? That's free, apart from the yeah. obviously the watermarking. So how much does it cost to remove the watermarking? $39 one-time payment. Oh, that's, well, there we go. And that's it. Yeah. And then you can have that on that's your right. site. Yeah. There, there is no limitation on how many pages you put it on. There's no limitation on how many plays. There's no limitations of anything the only difference between the free code and the paid code is the little branding of animation by confetti pages the only difference um and you know i'll give you an example 
when you are starting out, you want to just test it out, see what it looks like. Great, just use the free confetti. And if you decide like you, you want to upgrade, then great, you could do that because you might want to have that customization in your course area, you know, when you have that button. That takes a little bit, that's a little bit more, but if you go on the page, we can create a button where they can click and it pops the confetti. You just click at the bottom to advanced features and follow the tutorial here, basically. And you could use that um, basically in Zemler. And basically all the difference is, is instead of it being a button that says, that pops up the confetti immediately, you can click here and type in, pop the confetti, they will click it and then it will create that confetti, which will look great after somebody makes a purchase as an example, you know, or finishes a lesson, you know, congratulations, you finished the lesson. Let's pop some confetti, you know, get yeah. a little bit of gamification happening, you know? Yeah. And we know gamification, any of these little tweaks that will stand you out from the crowd. Also, like Emma was saying, put a, put a smile on your face as well. It's got to be a plus, doesn't it? And Aaron always puts a smile on my face. So thank you so much for taking part in this podcast, Aaron. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate you. Brilliant. Links to Aaron's website as well are all going to be in the description uh, coming up on screen as well throughout. So enjoy. Thank you, Aaron, very much. My pleasure. My pleasure.